hi beautiful people on youtube thanks for stopping by but before i start i want to appreciate everyone for 1000 subscribers right now i have 94 so i know just 16 left to go but i know before i'm done editing and i publish this video i will have had 1000 subscribers on this channel I would not have made it this far without you guys. Thank you so much for never getting tired of me. Though some of you might have gotten tired of me, but still, we got this far. I am the love for it. <laughs> So today I'm going to be talking about university essentials you have to bring to university because I know some of you are resuming very soon before the end of September, before October or what month you are watching this or what year you are watching this, 2023, 2024, 2025 or forever. This video will always be here to help you guys. This is my paper. I wrote down everything. I just, just go get your just some paper and a pen because I'm going to be fast about this and think so now <clears throat> upon resumption you are giving your room and you usually make the place messy because those people that used it before don't bother to clean even me when I left my under level hostel I did not bother to clean the room the next person will come and clean it so now you're going to get things that you have to use to clean your room so now you get your newspaper you might want to arrange your clothes on it. You get nylon. You want to dispose anything. You get a dustbin, broom, mop, packer. Be ready to clean that day. You get your detail, your bathing soap, your washing soap, your perfume, your deodorant. So now you have to get insecticides also because of mosquitoes. You get a mosquito net. You get tissue paper. You get sanitary towels or sanitary pad, whatever you want to call it. You get a bucket, you get a container, you can get a basket where you can keep your this and that. You shall know what you want to carry. Your soap cases, where you put your soap, your bathing soap, um, sponge, body lotion, and if you have skincare also, carry them. Skincare products, sunscreen, shaving stick, or bits you can buy and there are the two toothbrush toothpaste anger body to cutting board cutting board who don't remember to buy cutting board don't forget cutting board air products your nail cutter your nail cutter your nails have to be in it even though mine is just oh i don't want to <laughs> so don't forget your nail cutter so um yeah a lot of people don't mention this don't forget your drugs you <laughs> there are days when you just feel sick let's say you are asthmatic you're an asthmatic patient now don't forget your inhaler you have to get your inhaler anything can happen on my day just get it just don't forget your inhaler as i'm saying right now go and buy your inhaler and put it in your bag now and if you're an ulcer patient don't forget your gas call, but still bring your prastamol, bring your felvin, bring your ibucap. Because there are days when you just have pain, maybe from stress, my, your, head, your head might ache, and you might have menstrual pain. Just get drugs that will relieve you at that moment. So let's go to this, let me call it, let me classify it as tools. ATM card, automated teller machine card. You all should not forget it because when I went to school then in my first year i did not have a bank account even up to now i use bank app and it's i just have to get before i go back to school if not <laughs> the person you want to be borrowing money for my show you shege shege comes in different foods yeah so umbrella don't forget your umbrella you need your umbrella your wallet or purse you want to hold your money you don't want to be holding it Keep it safe. Get a bag. If you want to have a bag, make sure you have a black bag. A black bag goes with anything you want to wear. Instead of you carrying yellow, blue, those kind of colors select. Get an iron, a kettle, electric kettle, extension box, your lamp, 
your touch lights out of the two you want to go to the bathroom in the night and you don't want to be using your phone flashlight just have a touch light or a lamp plate with lead you want to go get food instead of you buying disposable every time this and that or sharing kid just bring a plate that has a lead when you are done you wash it bring hand fan also or or this mini fan anyone you know you can afford because you feel it you can just be in class this will be folding paper grab a big girl a big guy don't stick your fan on that so now let me go to the clothes most people are confused on what clothes to bring so now i'm gonna talk about clothes you have to bring bring hoodie you need hoodie and your cardigan your sweatshirt you need them on cold days if a girl brings skirts bring different skirts just make sure you have black skirts make sure they are fitted you can bring flared skirts guys don't forget your trousers half shorts bring your packet shirt bring random tops can be like 10 or 15 or 20 those tops that you know you can wear maybe after class or you want to just go and get food or anything like that bring vintage shirts it's very much to bring them i'm just like telling you things i feel you can bring in case you have no clue um bring your departmental wear some schools have particular um dress code for their students it's like abroad now the medical student put on red this and that. just make sure you bring sweat and um, your departmental wears if you are going to any university make sure you have at least one white shirt because anything can just happen they'll tell you to to bring a white shirt or something like that have socks have socks bring your black socks you can bring any socks you have because cold can just <sighs> it's you one night and you can also wear socks when you are putting on your sneakers as well bring your underwears i shouldn't be telling you this don't forget your underwears bring your duvet or your blanket bring enough bed sheets two or three or four just make sure it is at least two bed sheets your native attires you might want to go to church on friday sorry <laughs> you might want to go to church on sunday don't forget your native attire bring your bible as well and if you're a muslim don't forget your um jubab and your prayer mat your quran your roses and ketu things that you know you used to pray emphasis on your quran and your bible so bring your face cap face cap is so very easy just put it on and you're good to go especially on sunny days you get so now let's go right to the shoes don't bring one shoe because it's wear out quickly. Make sure you have at least two shoes, different shoes, flat shoes. You can bring heels, heels like you are going to church, you want to wear your heel or you have um, an occasion where you, but you have to wear heels. Bring scarves, bring hats, bring slide or crocs, anyone you know you prefer. Personally, I prefer crocs. Just wear your crocs and your socks and if it is slide you want to buy buy it and if it is two you want to buy buy it you can bring your bedroom slippers what some people call flip-flop because you don't want to be bathing barefooted you have to wear something so now let's go to the stationery. bring there's this notebook 12 in one notebook just bring it so instead of you splitting this you will now bring a lot of higher education. You write Mati and English. No, 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 don't do that. Just have everything in your notes. The notes has been divided into sections where you can write this, you can write this subject. It's even better and easier to carry. Bring pen, bring pen, bring pencils. Not just one pen, like bring like a dozen. It doesn't be enough before you go home. So bring pencils. I hope you guys are jotting down. Bring two erasers bring razor blade bring ruler don't forget your calculator don't forget your calculator nobody brings two calculators even umbrella who buys two umbrella oh i don't want to be here please buy me a calculator sorry i'm using it though <laughs> so bring yours provision i shouldn't be telling you what provision to buy but i'll still mention it don't forget your biscuit because you might be reading and you want to like munch on something 
me personally i can't switch diet and to bring biscuits bring mini mini chin chin bring your conflicts your golden mon um your milo your milk some students like salty food bring salt if possible because there are days you buy food and the food will be less salty and you will like salt just add your sprinkle some salt bring bread and that falls your resumption because you will need it bring tea bags bring bonfita bring your noodles and everything like that so i think i've listed things i know you can bring so now for my head bring your earring your chain you can bring your lip gloss and your lip liner anything that'll make you look good and i feel like that's all i feel like i've helped you guys up to a point in case you're clueless before watching this video thank you so much for watching this video to the end and um, well to 1000 subscribers road to 2000 subscribers and more and one day you know we are here together one day i'll eat a million subscribers i'm telling you i'm not boasting mm? nah, nah, nah. so yeah thank you all for watching my video kindly subscribe if you found this video helpful and turn on post notifications i love you all <laughs> so yeah i can say this is hey god So now you have to get your cleaning kit. So now you have to get so now insecticides. Thank you for 1000 subscribers. So yeah, I can see as per I have 1000 subscribers, I have to start delivering quality content to you all because when I look back, um, I don't think I'm happy with everything I've uploaded. So now I'm taking it to another level. Don't ever get there now, just anticipate that you guys get. <laughs>